Adam McCall grew up on a dairy farm outside Maryville with his parents and two older sisters. From his earliest days, Adam's days on the farm started early. But my mom and dad uh, are my absolute best role models. I, I was so blessed with having a family that loves each other, has stayed together. Um, we didn't have money. We worked very hard. We did everything together, and it was, it was you know, uh, just good, simple fun. Much of the time, that fun happened outside, instilling in Adam a love for the great outdoors. That's what mom and dad um, really instilled in us from day one, was just the importance of the outdoors, but also just how much fun you can have by, you know, going on hike, uh, hikes and, and uh, uh, cookouts and campouts. You know, for me as a kid, you know, I had kind of like this massive playground. Um, that's kind of how I saw it. I mean, I used to just spend uh, so much time you know, riding my BMX bike through the fields or, you know, uh, hiding out, building, uh, you know, uh, building hideouts in various corners of the, of the fields. And I remember when my mom would punish me, it was usually forcing me uh, to, uh, to stay in the house. <laughs> Not surprisingly, Adam flourished in scouting, earning his Eagle Scout rank. But he also developed a flair for other adventurous hobbies. By my senior year in high school, I was um, pretty addicted to three sports <laughs> by that point, uh, kayaking, mountain biking, and wakeboarding. These outdoor pursuits played a big role in Adam's decision to apply to Maryville College, which offered easy access to mountains, streams, and lakes. Adam enrolled in a dual degree program that gave him three years at Maryville and two years at Tennessee Tech, focusing on mechanical engineering. Adam immediately felt at home in a Maryville College program that allowed him to share with others his love for outdoor adventures. The day I made the decision that I was going to Maryville College, I think is the day that I also made the decision, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on Mountain Challenge staff because it just, um, it was such a, a good fit for me. The influences I, I got from the people at Mountain Challenge, but also the experience of, of taking people to the outdoors almost sort of forcing this dynamic of healthy communication in order to achieve a particular goal. There's no way I can extract on a daily basis what Mountain Challenge has done for me um, in, in my, you know, in my career, uh, in my social life, everything about it. Adam went on to earn an MBA from Tennessee Tech in 2005. His first job after grad school was at Idle Air, a company with a cutting edge idea in the early 2000s. The idea behind it was a device that can plug into a tractor trailer truck window and allow the truck to not have to idle while the driver is resting. And this device would bring in heating, uh, air conditioning, power, cable TV, video on demand, um, and high speed internet. It was a great convenience for drivers, but also promised to help the environment by eliminating the millions of gallons of diesel fuel burned each year when drivers would otherwise idle their engines to stay comfortable during their stops. Throughout his time at Idle Air, Adam continued to indulge his love for competitive wakeboarding. This led to an unexpected opportunity in 2007 to join the executive leadership team at Malibu Boats, where Adam was given the opportunity as founder and managing director of Axis Wake Research Boat Company to create a new line of watercraft. It was Adam's idea to create an affordable line of boats that more people could afford to own. It was truly a, a dream opportunity for me. As you can imagine, it incorporates engineering, it incorporates company uh, entrepreneurship, but the oh by the way for me was it incorporates this hobby that is just such an important part of my life. Adam disrupted the industry again by designing and patenting SurfGate, a device which allows boaters to create optimal wakes for wakeboarders with the flip of a switch. But not surprisingly, this innovative Maribel College grad was not content to rest on his accomplishments. I, I guess I get maybe like a six or seven year itch is best I can tell. It's almost like when things are to a point where, where I believe that they're stable, that's kind of when my mind begins to wonder, right? Like my, my, my mind starts looking for that next problem. For Adam, the next challenge presented itself when he learned about groundbreaking research UT and Oak Ridge scientists were conducting on new uses for lignin, a byproduct of the paper industry. Adam became president and CEO of Tenera, a subsidiary of the UT Research Foundation. There he spun off a new company called Prisma Renewable Composites, 
which has formulated usable carbon fibers made from lignin at a competitive price point. This is a door upper um, of a particular vehicle, and our material will be replacing ABS plastic um, in, in this particular car part. No matter where his career takes him next, Adam says family and the outdoors remain at the root of his identity. He still hikes and spends time with his parents, his sisters, and their spouses and children. And now the family has grown to include his wife, Mariko. Growing up on a dairy farm, you know, we didn't have money. But what we had is what I'm now realizing in this world is so rare, and that is, I mean, we had each other. The, the tears could tell you everything, right? Because that's, it, it's everything to me. 